Well, with more active weather on the way for the prairies this afternoon into the evening hours, I take you to a recap yesterday where, yeah, we were seeing clouds like this. I'm meteorologist Jacqueline Whittle. Let's talk a little bit about this. Some people call this the mesocyclone or the mothership because it looks like it's going to launch into outer space. Yeah, that is what we call striations. And that means the, uh, the spinning mesocyclone starts to kind of take on layers in the atmosphere. It's absolutely gorgeous. This is shot by Braden Morriso. He is a chaser out in Alberta. Um, and this was near Viking, Alberta. Another shot of that mothership storm cloud, uh, that supercell. He's only 21 years old. There's his tweet, uh, Twitter there. And uh, definitely take a look at his Twitter account because he comes up with some really great stuff. Now, there's a shot of parts of Alberta under some ominous looking clouds through the lightning. Speaking of lightning, if you go to our website right now, as we have our force of nature all the time there that you can view, this one's focusing on lightning storms. Check it out. On that note, you ever think about lightning above the cloud? So we have a cumulonimbus cloud. We have our anvil in a blue sky. Uh, well, you have, we know about lightning bolts below the storm cloud, but what about on top of the storm cloud? Believe it or not, there's actually many studies going on with the National Weather Service in the States talking about this weather phenomenon uh, known as sprites. And I'm not talking about a lemony, refreshing uh, beverage. I'm talking about these, uh, these red lightning bolts that actually shoot back into space in the mesosphere and the thermosphere, way, way, way up, about 100 kilometers up in the sky into space, and they actually look red. Now, this uh, researcher, Jason Arns, actually got a shot of it over Canadian County in Oklahoma. So I actually chased in this region. So that's the base of the cloud. That is what he caught on top of the cloud. More on the active weather in the prairies, and I'm sure we'll be talking lightning into the evening hours. Stay with us.